Hey y'all, it's Sherry and G, and we're 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 woo make. <laughs> ooh, say that fast three times. Woo we'll make creations. creations. And um, yesterday, someone was asking about a bag to carry your roundabout in, so my wheels started turning. So I started doing this, and I told Sherry we better start filming that in case it works out. So here we uh, go. Here we go. Okay, G, you're on. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've taken my lining fabric, my outer fabric, and some bind, uh, batting. And it's about... Wait, why are you huh. going to have your liner fabric? That's the pretty side. Why don't you use the... Because I want the zebra on the outside. Oh. Um, so this is about 36 by... 21 and a half ish. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, so anyway, you see how I have them sandwiched here. I've got it pinned all the way around. Show them how I have it pinned all the way around, except where these handles are. I've used my zip clips to, my large zip clips, to uh, fasten this down here like this, just for a few minutes. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to the machine and I'm gonna tack down, I'll of course move that zip clip. I will tack down these handles. So tell them what the handles are made of, Jim. Oh, this is webbing. Um, I don't know, it's like an inch and a quarter webbing. I think it's, I think when you look it up, it's just called webbing. Um, and so, I mean, Martelli might even sell it in their quilt shop, I don't know. I'll have to ask them. So anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tack these handles down and then I'm going to take a lap all the way around this, leaving an opening for me to flip the whole thing through because I'm going to, after I flip it through, I'll press it and then I'm going to quilt it. The quilting, of course, will make it more padded and stuff to carry your precious roundabout in. We're going to take the zip clip off of here and okay. So right now, I'm gonna do my quarter inch stitching on here with, um, I'm gonna do it back and forth, back and forth to really secure, cause you know, handles take a beating. So I'm gonna go down and reverse and down again and reverse. How about backspace, backspace. backspace. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to say reverse that way. I won't say backspace. And then I'm going to switch it to a zigzag and I'm going to go zigzagging down here and then backing it up to zigzag again and then cut my thread. I just want this to be extra secure. That way, um, you know, the, it'll withstand the, it'll be durable. This is what you're Handles are going to look like all sewn in. These things ravel so much. Um, but anyway, now I'm going to stuff these to the inside. Oh, help if I took the pin out. I'm going to stuff these down inside here. Just in the middle here. And then I'm going to sandwich this all back up again. And... I'm going to take a lap around this whole thing. I'm gonna, I gotta fix it. I'm gonna take a lap around this whole thing with a quarter inch and just being mindful when I'm by the, by the handles again, I'll probably do a little back up again. So. But you're not, you're not sewing this right here, right? Yeah. I, well, I'm gonna leave a space to turn it but I'm not going to do it near the handles. I'll, I'll do it over here oh. somewhere where it's more convenient. Okay. So anyway, we're just going to... Oh, i got to put Thank my... you, Sherry, for clarifying that. Yes. You are a good helper and videographer, and, uh, and you're good at thinking of stuff for me to do. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. How you like how I tagged her, y'all, to make her make this? <laughs> well, I, it worked, because so, here I am trying to make it. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go a quarter inch um, seam all the way around this, but I am gonna leave about a handful worth. Here comes my handle. And then I'm gonna just back it up and then keep it moving. 
uh, let me line this up a little better. And here comes my handle again. Okay. And anyway, just take the whole lap around the whole thing um, with your quarter inch. Okay, G. Okay, so I have gone a quarter inch. It looks funny because this handle's inside here. I've gone a quarter inch all the way around, and I'm at my corner, but I'm gonna, I started to mark this, and she said just wait till she puts the camera on. So, okay, so I'm going to... Oh, look, y'all. She finally did oh. her nails. <laughs> I was so tired of looking at those other nails. She always does her clients so beautifully, but yeah. wow, those are... They're Trippy, wow, those are cool. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna want I'm gonna that next do, on my toes. Okay, <laughs> wait, y'all, see these? Look how beautiful these nails are. Those are so old. They're so old. Anyway, but still we're doing a quilt video. Okay, so look, I'm gonna do like uh, my hand open, and that's where I'm gonna leave the opening at to flip this whole thing around. Because um, I'm gonna be passing. Let's see. Yeah, I'll be passing this whole thing through that opening. So that's probably that's probably about good. Okay, y'all. She is now on that last straightaway, and I'm I gotta scoot those handles in. They get a little bit, make a little bit of an aggravation, but not too bad. Okay, so I'm just still coming down here, a quarter inch or so, and when I get to this first mark, I'm gonna really um, backspace, back, backspace. <laughs> backstitch it good because. It's going to have a little wear and tear when I start um, passing everything through the hole. So just I'm going to back up one more time, and then I'm going to cut that off. And then I'll leave this opening right here still. And then I'll start up here at this other mark. And back here, let me hold. This kind of pulls a little bit. Let me hold it better. Okay, so we're going to back up, back up, back up, and then keep it moving. Okay, as you can tell, this Janome 9400 is amazing, even when someone don't cut right. There we go, that would be me. Um, anyway, I'm coming. I was glad you clarified that because they were going to think yeah. I cut it. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, it did sound that way, so that's why I saved you. And back up a little bit. Just a little bit. So now I'll take off all these corners, um, take out all the pins, and then I'm going to snip off these corners like this just so um, I don't have bulk there. And take out any other pins I've got, which I have them all the way around. Hold that and snip off that. I love these little scissors. Um, I'm pretty sure they still sell them, but I fell in love with them, and they're pink. I mean, what more do you want? Of course, Sherry would want them in purple. Yep. What's this big old string? Oh, let's just cut that off. Okay, so, oh. Man, how many sides does this sucker have? <laughs> okay. I'm going to trim off this opening, and now I'm going to flip it. I'm going to bring this whole bag. Did I get all the corners? No. The bag does have four corners. I only did three. I only did two. I could have gotten a bigger thing of scissors. These are the sharpest little things. Look at that. Mm. Those Look at are... these. Yeah, these are awesome, too. See that? Martelli. They make the best products, I swear. Okay, cut that off. Well, I guess I, you could show me flipping it. Okay, so we've got to pass this whole bag through here very carefully. But we did back tack it. That way it's more sturdy and we're not going to rip it to death where, when we're trying to put all this out. Now, because I like to quilt everything, this will, I'm going to quilt it, and then I'm going to do my corners 
when I put the roundabout and see about about rounding the, the bottom of the bag out a little bit. But for now, it's one big old rectangle. And I'm going to go in here and push out all my corners. I'm going to get my mommy uh, knitting needle. Wow, in stereo, you guys. And, well, it sounded like you forgot what it was there for a second. Well, so. I did because I'm concentrating. <laughs> And oh, I wanted to point out somebody on the group. Move your arm a minute. What? Somebody in the group asked about G's, um, what is this called? Mat and accessory holder oh, or yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. So, look, this is what I hold on my tools. Look at those Martelli tweezers, too. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, all my tools that I have handy all the time. Um, I am going to be doing a video. We are going to do a video uh, to make these because a lot of people are interested in this but we are going to do it with the magic stuff on the bottom for your machine to sit on it and then we're going to design this around that so Wait, I'm, I'm going to show them mine because mine's cute too see that it's cute <laughs> see I have a hunt and I have a thread bag we always make our thread bags to match so anyway well, I I will make one though with the with the Martelli magic stuff on the bottom. That way, your machine will sit sturdy and on that thing, and you'll have this in the front too. Mine's a mess right now. Don't be showing that on camera. Too okay, late. so look, I have turned this whole bag up around. Right now, it looks like this. Okay, with the with the handles like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and iron it I'm gonna fold this opening in so you won't be able to see any of that and then I'm gonna take a top stitch lap all the way around this and then I'm gonna quilt it okay. so thank you okay there's G ironing yeah so I'm gonna press this out I'm just holding my handle straight out, giving it a good press. Right there is my opening. I've pinned it closed, and then I will iron it closed. Oh, and I do not recommend this iron, just in case you see it at a show and you feel like you want to buy it. Oh, yeah, no. we fell for it. We fell for it at the Houston show. Because and our Alyssa, Alyssa died. And then we went ahead and saw this at the show and thought it was fabulous. But it's now not, we're on our second one. And it's not fabulous. It's not it's, fabulous. It's more of an aggravation than anything. I want my Aliso back. So if there's any Aliso um, sponsors out there, uh, just know that that is the best iron, iron ever. There is. Yes. So I'm going to take these pins out. And just give that a good press so it stays. I still think you should have used the um, butterflies on the other side. That way when I get this prototype for my stuff. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It ain't for you, girl. Watch you and see if I don't get own. this, y'all. You can watch my video and make your own. Hey, I have the videos on my camera. Either you give it to me or I don't <laughs> post it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got that pressed closed. I'm going to go take a top stitch lap around here. And then I'm going to iron, uh, then I'm going to quilt it. Okay, cool. Peace out. Peace out. I was just telling G that, see. So I picked this up and I said, oh, that's starting to look really cute. And I, I said, handles. oh, it is the butterflies on that side. And but, uh, I'm like, no, it's not. I can, you can do it at either side right now, but it's, this is going to be the inside. Oh, that makes you a little bit dizzy, huh? Yeah. I think it should be on the outside. No. Okay, turn it off. Okay, guys, guess what? I won <laughs> this fight. Um, ha ha. So, I'm getting it with the um, butterflies on the outside. Only because I accidentally started top stitching it for this side. Ha ha. Anyway. She did it. Um, so purpose. I started here and I'm going across. Now, when I got. She was scared. <laughs> <laughs> when I got over here by the handles, I kind of just manipulated the fabri fabric a little bit to come up onto here a little bit because it was down a little bit, but it's okay. Anyway, 
Um, I'm doing my top stitching now. Wait, you changed your foot. Oh, yeah. Did you tell them? No. no. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are sewing on Janome. Um, this is the Janome uh, dual feed foot. Um, it's the stitch in the ditch foot. So when I do things, I like to do them very quickly. And She's a speed demon. Yes, and I don't want to have and to then think. She ha okay, she taught me how to sew, and then she has the nerve to tell me, don't be quilting so fast. Well, <laughs> I learned from her. So I am just going, uh-oh, this is getting heavy. Um, I'm trying to not make you move with that camera. So anyway, I'm just running this stitch in a ditch foot along the edge of my fabric, and um, I've got it, what, on a three... 3.0 stitch length just for my top stitching um, actually right here I'm coming up on the closure uh, so let me just manipulate it a little bit and so you'll never be able to tell where it was I, where I sewed it together uh, you can go ahead and show I guess when I come over see here this is what I was talking about. I was hiding that a little bit. Um, my, my bobbin stitches were showing. Um, I had a different bobbin case in there. I kind of messed it up. So anyway, I'll manipulate that fabric like that and go over top of that. Well, just but, do it now. Okay. Okay. Now turn this around here. So I'm just going to shove this a little bit like this. Just make it look a little prettier right here. You know, nothing's perfect. This is real life sewing here. There's no editing to... Uh oh, I didn't turn the corner very good. Okay. I was more worried about this handle area. Don't you want to use that tool? Oh, yeah. Can, duh. Where is that I thing? should have it. I have it it's over at my, my cutting table right now. You want me to get it? Well, I'm almost done now. I'll deal with it. You guys know about the Soulmate. David had it on uh, his um, video a couple days ago. David I like, Martelli. Yeah. I like having that to do stuff like this with because I did just do my nails. All right, now coming up on the next corner, I'm gonna round this corner a little better than I did the last one. Okay. And when I press this, I was pressing it thinking I was going to the other side. So now I have to manipulate this a little bit so the back side, don't, the underneath side don't show anymore. Since Sherry won out this argument. Uh -huh. She thinks she's going to steal it from me. Oh, but... I'm taking this prototype. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> well, if it comes out good. <laughs> so far, so good. And not, uh, not a difficult project. That's why I didn't do it with binding or anything. I just wanted to do something quick and easy that everyone on this group could do if they wanted to. And they'll probably do it even better. I just like to do things fast and um, actually not shoddy work, but I just don't fool around too much with stuff. I don't like stuff. Believe me, it's not shoddy, you guys, because when, anytime I've done anything shoddy, she makes me seem rip it. Yep, that's true. I said, uh-uh, not coming out of my sewing room, it ain't. Oh, she called it a sewing room today. It's really... <laughs> The really, sweatshop. we call it the sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, does the top stitching look pretty good? Let me see. Looks pretty good to me. Yep. yep. Okay, so we're coming up on our ending here. So, you can cut it off until I'm going to go quilt it. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how G's going to quilt this for me. And um, <laughs> this is the King Tut thread she's using and she likes it because it's 
different colors. Well, um, it's printed like every inch. So when you use a variegated and it's it's from King, it's from Superior Threads, that it's um, very. See that it changes every inch. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. And she's using the Martelli 11 um, the inch 11 circle. Inch, mm -hmm. The hoop. The hoop. Okay, and when we when she's done, I'll come back and show you something else. Gee, I'm on. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna put you, these. you think that I have nothing to do but to film you. Okay. okay Guys, okay. I want you all to look at my beautiful while well, she's fiddle farting around with all well, that. I'm just putting the rulers back. Um, let me show you my uh, quilt that I'm working on. But G keeps making me stop to film. But any, isn't that going to be beautiful? I can't wait. And I'm going to use the Martelli straight rulers with my ruler foot to create more diamonds on the top, I think. So anyway, okay. there's G. So. Okay. Um, all right. So here's, what's the, here's the deal. I got done quilting it. I came over here to the table. I put my whole roundabout set up in here um, and I wanted to see about the size now if I were gonna do this again how many inches are these straps I forgot 40 but okay yeah. a short so person these straps we made 40 inches but a shorter person or if you didn't want it to hang so low you could make them shorter if I were gonna do this again I would make my original piece a couple inches longer um, because we're, I'm going to go ahead and go sew this one up. This one's going to do. But if I did it again, I would probably make it two inches longer. And so instead of 36 inches, I'd probably go 38. But I'm going to make this work. This is real life sewing here. So look, what I'm going to do is go sew this up. Okay, I'll turn it inside out because this is now going to be the outside. Let me show the quilting. Isn't my I just prototype did little, gonna be so cute? I just did, you know, little juvenile, you know, flowers. Not little, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna fold this on itself evenly, and we're gonna go and sew all the way around. On the well, inside. Well, I'm just gonna go it's on, on the wrong sides. side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down this side and down this side. Then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put the round about in here and then I'll round this corner off and uh, I mean why does oh, it have here. to be round well it don't have to be look we could just take the bony look oh no oh god you see the genius mind at work here uh, well wait no because it has to be this way okay so we just line it up here and here saw this off Saw it off, Chi? Yeah. That's just something saw I would it say. Off. You're going to do it right now. You said you were going to wait till after you sew it. Make up your mind. Well, I'll wait till after I sew it. Let me just go sew this together first. All right. <laughs> peace out. There, you're on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take this, this part of the bony, and line it up with the side down here and shove it down to where this part hits this. Just gonna round this off a little bit. So let's see. Gonna cut this. Press harder. Well, look at how dumb the, the position I'm in cutting this. This is stupid. But I'm just rounding this out real quick. And I'll go and sew that and make it pretty. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Just lining this straight part up, having this go down here and meet the end here. Let me turn this so I won't be such a stoop trying to cut it. Thank well, you. I probably should use the bigger blade too because this is um, thick, thicker. Yeah. So there you have it. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sew this, make it pretty. And then we'll turn the bag around and it'll be done. Do you end done? I'm just going to show you how she's doing these corners. I'm just doing this a quarter inch around here and make it go right off. And then 
I'm going to do the other side same way start it right here back stitch a little bit back stitch here now um, just because we can I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit more and I'm gonna go and pretty that up with a zigzag because the rest of the the lining is going to look pretty because this was kind of a finished edge so let me just trim this a little bit and then i'm going to pretty it up with a zigzag stitch because i don't have a serger yeah the serger story is a whole other nightmare <laughs> we're not even going to talk about that i'm getting ptsd about it <laughs> Okay, so here, let's just zigzag this and make it a little prettier. Not that it matters too, too much on this, but I like to do it. I like the outside of this bag. I know, but I like the other side, and since this bag's for me, I got my way. Did y'all see how she just confiscated this before it was even sewn? Hey, I work part of these videos. I know. And I appreciate you. That's so there, it was the on film. I appreciate you. Yeah, y'all hear that? Let's bring that up in the future. Okay, so that's done. Here, we can just do it right here. Bring the whole bag through. Now, if you wanted, you could make a Velcro fastening thing on here. Or if you wanted to sew a little button and a little strap to go across however you want I don't feel like it needs anything else because like I said it's not quite as long as I would like it to put a fastener right here I can probably put a snap right here though and well it's see. my bag and I don't have to have anything so how about that how about that see so the rounded corners a little bit well let's go put it let's go get the roundabout Hey everybody, look at my bag for my roundabout. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and look at my beautiful quilt that I'm okay. going to now get to start doing because we're done filming. But um, we'll film you when you start using the Martelli rulers to okay. straight line quilt that. But I love my bag. Wait. Yes. See? Yay. And we'll show the quilting on there. I love the quilting. I love everything about it. Okay. Peace out.